Hello everyone and welcome to the Memorial Day live stream. Hope everyone's having a good weekend. Happy M Memorial Day. Uh, let's see who's all here. A lot of people are here. A lot of people were here hours early. Um, Boss Hog, Dank Tanks, Lumpy Dog, Priscilla, Turbo Fish, Tampa Tom, Keanu Reeves, Ron, hello. Hello, 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 Mob Guppy, uh, Gunners, Fish Room. Who else we got here? Kathleen is unable to attend, but we'll watch the replay. Ram Phonic, hello, Aquatic Ma, and everyone else. Yes, we are giving away a $25 Aquarium Co-op gift card. And you want it louder? There. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Stream open with a handgun commercial? I'm okay with that. Um, you can't hear me, huh? Can you hear me now? How about now? How about now? I don't know. That's up almost all the way. Better. Jay's Aquatic, what's going on? It has been a minute. Good to see you. Pony Girl, hello. The Cove. Brant Lee, hello. Josh, hello. Uh, thank you for the $4.20 super chat. Jobs Aquarium Tanks, I appreciate it. Turn up the volume. I'm good now. All right. I never really know because right now it's telling me that this is insanely loud. So, I don't know. We'll see. Sound check, picture check. All right. Well, I'm not going to say hello to everyone again, so <laughs> hello to everyone. We'll just put it at that. Um, <clears throat> so, yes, we are giving away. You're still muffled. Uh, I don't know what to tell you. Much better, much better. I'll just turn mine down. <laughs> Yeah, everyone's, all your guys' volumes are different. I cannot control your guys' volume. Terry Lindsay says, happy Memorial Day too. Yep, happy Memorial Day. Jimmy is here. Oh, yes. Um, I should have had that uh, ready. Let's see. I will get the link. I'm sure everyone here is already subscribed. Uh, the first time you turned it up, it was perfect. All right, I'm not touching it again. There you go. Uh, Bob, I got some rainbows from Gary Lang. Well, what kind? What kind? All right, just for you to know. Just for you to know. I don't even know what that means. You have to be subscribed to this channel in order to be eligible to, to, eligible to win. So make sure you're subscribed to Jimmy and ours. Ours. Jimmy and mine. Jimmy and I, Jimmy, mine and Jimmy's second channel. I don't know, whatever. <laughs> there it is. There's the link. Um, looks like a couple people just subbed, so you do have to be subscribed to that channel. And we're going to do the drawing at 6.30. I'm not going to tell you guys how I'm going to pick the winner until 6.30. So, um, Flynn's Fish Forum with the $5 Canadian. What's up, my friend? I'm just water changing. Also ran out of frozen waffles this morning. Do you just get the Egos? Is that, are those your frozen waffles, Ego? Uh, long ago, sub to Swiss Kebab. Yes, we're actually going to start doing stuff on that channel. Um, so right now it's just kind of there, but, uh, things are coming on that channel. So make sure you're subscribed to it. Super, captiv super captivated by the fish in the background. Can't focus on what you're saying. Well, good, because I don't really say anything anyways. Swiskey says, I don't like you either. I don't even know what that means. Oh, excuse me. Bob, I got some L134 leopard frog plecos. You would love them. They come out into the open to feed. I still have about three of them, I believe. Three of them. Uh, Jimmy equals the brains. Bob is the beauty. <laughs> no. No, but it's not necessarily, it's not, I mean, you could probably already know, but it's not necessarily going to be a fish channel. Um, I don't know. It, it might just be all over the place, but it's going to be fun regardless. It'll be a good time, I promise. Um, Candy says hello to everyone joining. Agia, hello. Uh, yes, but uh, yeah, we'll see. We'll be live streaming over there. We'll be doing podcasts, all kinds of stuff. So just make sure you're subscribed. You don't want to miss it. Well, maybe you do. I don't know. <laughs> 
So, hey kids, knock it off. I will turn the car around. All right, I didn't know Swiss Bob was a thing. Swiss Kebab. Swiss Kebab. Uh, lurking for a minute. Cars, cars, cars. It's not going to be cars. Uh, I mean, there might be one or two more car videos on there, but since he's moving to Ohio, it's going to make it kind of hard to do car videos. So, uh, Have you ever gotten over bronchitis? I'm almost there. I would say like 90%. So if I cough in this live stream, uh, like in yesterday's live stream, I was kind of coughing a lot. So hopefully there'll be less coughing. But yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much almost all the way better. Thank you for asking. I appreciate it. Jimmy adds the awesome sauce. Yeah, it's pretty much all Jimmy, and I'm just there to look stupid and say stupid stuff. Uh, good times, yes. Cars, I'm lost. Yeah, I mean, it's all fun. I'm trying to get him out on some hikes before he moves. So, you know, maybe we'll do a couple hiking videos. Uh, I don't know. Uh, there's an overnight hike I want to do, which would give us a really, really good shot of the, uh, the stars if it's clear out. So that would be a lot of fun. Uh, Priscilla says, aren't you moving to Ohio too? No. Are you saying Ohio doesn't have cars? I'm saying, well, probably not. They probably all get stolen. So there, there are cars in Ohio, but I feel like they all get stolen. <laughs> uh, there was a live stream yesterday. Yes, not on this channel though. Uh, what's in Ohio? I think Jimmy's family is from Ohio, but I don't know. Um, Jimmy's lived in like every state, so I don't really know which state he considers home but I'm pretty sure it's Ohio. <sighs> Cole Schramm is here. What's up, buddy? Overnight kayaking? Um, no. <laughs> no, not quite. There are, on the hike that I want to do the overnight on, there are a couple lakes, and we'll, we would actually be camping right on the lake. Um, they have these, like, platforms that are actually on the lake that you can like pitch your tent up and then like you put the opening to the tent like facing the lake and it's like you're on the lake like you're literally on the lake so it's pretty sweet and uh the road to get there is really bad and it's not very popular but it's really nice and really main uh it's really well maintained for some reason i have no idea uh the few times i've been there i think i've seen one person there uh, I like the tank in the background. Yes, the tank in the background is from Occasional Aquatics. That is the YouTube channel, Occasional Aquatics. Anyone is welcome to send a 5 to 10 minute HD video. And uh, I have no problem putting it in the back of my live stream. Uh, the mic is a bit hot and over modulated. Yeah, I don't, I don't even know what that means. So <laughs> I don't have any idea how to fix that. <laughs> Uh, home is where you make it. Yeah. Um, will there be bears? Yes. Most likely. There are a ton of wild blueberries. Uh, blueberry bushes. Uh, so, yeah. It's a good chance that there'll be bears. But, you know, they're vegetarians. They don't care about us. <laughs> Except for the fish they eat. <laughs> Aquatic venomous snakes. We have no venomous snakes in Washington. Uh, we do have uh, boa constrictors in Washington, but they only get like three feet long. So <laughs> uh, what else do we have? Yeah, we don't really have anything. Nothing exciting. Deb Shram, hello. Um, I had dental surgery. Forgive my lapse in memory. Uh, that's all right. I don't know if you're talking to me, but I don't have a memory at all. So there you go. I'm heading out to Japan next week. Anyone know of things to do or see fish related besides fishing? Uh, go to the fish stores. Like, every time I see people go to Japan, there's always crazy fish stores there. Uh, careful, Bob. Bears can smell the menstruation. I'm pretty sure I don't menstruate. So, I think we'll be alright. <laughs> uh, I live in Vancouver. Telling people where I live takes, like, 20 minutes. Uh, bears, Beats, and Bob. You don't have any rattlesnakes? Not on this side of the mountain. Not over here. Eastern Washington. I guess I should specify. Eastern Washington has rattlesnakes, but no, not on in in my in my area where we go. There are no rattlesnakes. It's too wet and too cold. Uh, Susie Q Aquatics, what's going on? Uh, should I put a piece of salami in my pocket to feed the bears? Yep. <laughs> oh man, <clears throat> I love the office quotes. You guys could like make office references 
for an hour and I would just make my day. Maybe we'll do like a Survivor Man video. Um, ADA Gallery in Nagata. Uh, Bob's experiencing meno men opaz. Men opaz. Uh, I just laughed out loud at the office so much at that. Um, the Survivor Man episode is very good. We have rattlesnakes in Michigan. <laughs> yeah, it's probably not. Well, I don't know. Like, we have rattlesnakes in Washington, but they're hundreds of miles away from me. Hundreds. If you're in Japan, you should check out any of their public aquariums. They'd have more than any, they have more than any other nation. That's pretty sweet. Uh, that's an interesting fact that I did not know. Western Washington does have bears down south in the less populated areas, such as cougar. Uh, Western Washington has tons of bears. They're everywhere. Uh, just makes Jimmy sleep in the back of the tent. I have a one-man tent, and a one-man tent is really like a, it's like a, I don't know. Uh, me in a one-man tent just doesn't happen very well. There's definitely no fitting anyone else in my one-man one tent. Uh, what filter is on the tank behind you? That I don't know because it is not my tank. Um, there is clearly some K1 coldness in there and some sponge intake action going on, but that's about all I can tell you. Sorry, Pat. Here in New Zealand, we have no predator animals, snakes, nothing safe. Uh, wow. Interesting. Swisky, see, Swisky in a one-man tent, he could probably park his car in there. But me in a one-man tent, like, I can't even fit my smallest dog in my one-man tent with me. Oh, fence lizards, I love them. We have so many in Florida, though. You have lots of lizards in Florida. We've got some rattlesnakes down here, too, but it's more common to see garden snakes. Uh, garter snakes. Yeah, those are everywhere up here, too. I've been bitten by them by, uh, a couple times, and they don't even, it doesn't even hurt. The worst part about those snakes is when they poop on you. Um, I think, I think in my video when I went out and collected wood and rocks, I think there was a snake in that video. I don't remember. It's been a couple years since I've seen that video. Uh, you guys need a one-man tent just for the camera equipment? <laughs> just for Jimmy's. My camera is really small and I have no equipment. Like, this is it right here. This is it. That's all I would take. Just kidding, I'm not going to throw it. Oops. Just knocked that over. Uh, rattlesnakes are everywhere. Uh, hit the like and share button. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hit the like and share, definitely. The only snakes we have here in Ireland are the ones in my reptile room. We've got all the bites. Yeah, Australia, you guys got everything. Um, oh, Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. I've never gotten pooped on by one. Uh, it's a defense mechanism. Uh, it smells awful, and it's almost impossible to get the smell off your hands. Like, it takes forever. Uh, where can I get a one-man, two-woman tent? Um, you know, <laughs> that sounds like a pretty expensive tent. <laughs> That's definitely way out of my price range. <laughs> oh, geez. Cost, how's it going? Oh, um, I think I have a couple patrons left in here. Don't forget the uh, Swiski option is no longer an option, so make sure you adjust your patronage accordingly. We're coming to the end of the month. I made a couple posts on it, but, you know, just, just make sure. I mean, if you want to keep giving me $20 for nothing, I'm not going to complain, though. <laughs> uh, you didn't respond to my comment on your update video today. Are you following through with the duckweed? Am I following through? Following through with the duck in the 125? Oh, like putting a duck in the 125. Um, No. No. <laughs> Do I not respond to that comment? Tomato juice, in case it happens again, it takes sunk skunk smell out too. Um, let's see. I remember where I was on a hike one day uh, with my mom. We were out hiking, and all of a sudden, all these girls just started screaming, and so we like ran down the trail, and there was a garter snake just hanging out on the trail. And if you don't know what a garter snake is, one, they're perfectly harmless, and they're small. I mean, I think they max out at like four or five feet, but they stay really skinny. And uh, they were just screaming, and it was just setting itself on the trail. So I, I just I picked it up, moved it over, and as soon as I picked it up, they started screaming, and they just ran down the trail. 
But yeah, then it pooped all over me, so I smelled like snake poop for the rest of the hike. It sucked. I didn't even want to touch my food to eat. So, yeah, it was pretty funny. Yeah, Michael knows what I'm talking about. Garter snake poop takes hours to get off. They actually get pretty big. We saw one almost four feet. I think the biggest one I saw was almost five feet. I caught a full-grown king snake in a in a hog nose, a hog nose, hog nose maybe. Um, outer tangled up. Wait, and something. Oh, okay. A king snake and a hog nose snake tangled up. I think that's what you mean. King snake one. Um, yeah, I think. <laughs> uh, Claire says, I have hognose snakes. They have toxic saliva, kind of like the uh, the Gila monster. I want to get a Gila monster one day. Koss says, how's your little tag you doing? It's, it's, she's doing great. Um, she eats almost as much as I do. I was watching the video of when I unboxed her last fall. And, uh, man, she's gotten way bigger, like way bigger, so... I'm about to feed her after the live stream. I got a bunch of ground turkey. So let her go let her go hog wild over that. AVP Aquariums, what's going on, buddy? I heard snakes and my ears popped. I miss seeing pygmy rattlesnakes in my yard in Florida. I used to catch garter snakes all the time as a kid. Very few snakes around here anymore though. Too built up. Yes. I used to be able to go out in my backyard uh, when I lived in Bothell as a kid, which Bothell is like 15, 20 minutes north of Seattle. And I could catch like a dozen garter snakes in a day, easily. And I had like all these aquariums and I would just, I would go out and I'd catch them and I'd put them in my aquarium for a day and then I'd go and release them. Uh, but now it's like impossible to find them. Like I can find them at my parents' house now because they're, you know, they got land and everything, but you don't really see them out here anymore. Uh, any snake would be absolutely frightening to see in the wild. <laughs> snakes aren't bad. They won't bother you if you don't bother them. Um, Low Life says, Steampot Aquatics, if you can only have one plant for the rest of your life, would it be Valacinaria, Anubius, or Java Fern? Is it only one type? Um, if there's only one type, it would be Anubius. If it was only one specific plant, um, it would probably be, uh, Jungle Val. Everyone having discounts giveaway for Memorial Day. It's great. Hope everyone enjoyed their day off. Uh, yeah, it's a good time for sales. We have ball pythons, hognose, milk snake, corn snakes, and Amazon tree boa. Um, I'm still not going to say what my next snake is going to be, but, uh, it'll be, so I'm going to get my red foot tortoise here in the next month or two, and then I'm going to get a snake, and, um, I don't know if I have anything planned for after the snake. I don't know. Uh, Michael says, fun fact, garter snakes have protein in their saliva that some people are allergic to. Interesting. I wonder, can you put their saliva in my protein shakes? Hmm? Is it good protein? Yep, garter snakes have scent glands. I learned that the hard way. Absolutely. That's cool. Michael didn't know that. Uh, I used to put garter snakes in an old washing machine until my aunt, who was definitely afraid of them, found them, and I was in big trouble. <laughs> That's kind of weird. <laughs> hey, whatever works, though, right? Uh, I'm fine if I see a snake and I have a shovel. That's not very nice. Snakes are friends. Snakes are friends. Um, that's <laughs> Man, I felt that coming. Sorry. At least he says, I have a wild caught banded water snake. Found him in my bathroom shortly after he hatched. That's crazy. Uh, HDJC says, I want a rainbow boa. Yes, those are very nice. Very nice. Uh, I would love a Kenyan sand boa. But most snakes can't hurt me, and I know that they make me hurt myself uh, for the snake power. <laughs> yeah. uh, you should have seen the big softshell turtles I saw basking on the dock and shore. I counted seven before they got spooked. Um, I don't know what kind of turtles I always see in eastern Washington, but they're always just floating around in ponds. I think they're just painted turtles, but I've never been able to get close enough to actually see one. But I'm pretty sure they're probably just painted turtles, which are pretty nice. Uh, it's awesome, Lacey. I'm jealous. Snakes are pretty cool. When I find the eggs before my dogs, I move them. Um, yeah, snakes also get rid of a lot of stuff that you don't want around. So I'd rather have snakes than what snakes eat. 
We have cinnamon frogs now as a breeding project. They're fun dudes. Oh, that's what I need. I need frogs again. I wish I could go out and find snakes. That's one thing about being in Hawaii. Only snakes we have look like shiny earthworms. Um, are those the same ones we have here? The rubber boa? The boa constrictor? We have rubber boas here in Washington. Uh, that's cool. Turtle fish. I have tree frogs. I still do have tree frogs out in my lawn, though. So that's kind of neat. Uh, I have videos on um, Clara for the first time a few days ago. Uh, oh, Clara the White? I don't even... Um, I don't mind timber rattlers as long as they're dead. Snowflake white tree frogs. Hmm. I'm going to have to look that up. Uh, it sounds like whiskey is going to Hawaii. Um, yeah, those are pretty neat. Uh, whiskey going to Hawaii in November. I also saw two osprey catch fish at the lakes. I went to while I struggled to find them. Uh, Turbo fish, I just subbed you up. Uh, what's with all the Jake <laughs> the Snake Roberts talk? I don't know, Lumpy Dog. People just want to talk about snakes. Uh, would you ever keep bird? Would I? Whoa. Would you ever keep a bird, Bob? Absolutely, I would. Um, a toucan. If you can find me a toucan for under $10,000, I still would not buy one. But if you can find one uh, for maybe under 1000 I would buy one. Uh, I've never seen a toucan for sale for under $10,000. Can you imagine like getting a pair of those and like selling them? That would be breeding, uh, breeding birds for profit. People would probably get pissed about that. Bob seems like a parrot kind of guy. Toucan. Birds are loud and messy. Mm. All animals can be loud and messy. Um, I think the ones we have are called Philippine Garden Snakes. They are at the second smallest species on the planet. That's crazy. And what size tank would you put a couple adult Melanotania rainbows? Hmm. Melanotania what? <laughs> There's like a hundred different Melanotania. Um, I like those bird aviaries. Uh, they have them at, uh, Woodland Park Zoo. There's at least one, maybe two. I don't know. Uh, dart frogs with dwarf geckos would be awesome, but I don't know if, but I don't know if I'll be around every day for feeding. Too much work, travel with a new job. Yeah, those little geckos, they're just too small. Like, um, what, what are, what's the little, the morning geckos, morning geckos, they're too small. It takes, you can't even see them. Uh, you should try to come out too, Bob. Uh, sure, what? November? I don't think I'm doing anything in November. It's cheap for me to go to Hawaii too. Uh, if you buy a box of Fruit Loops, you get a free toucan on every box. <laughs> Fruit Loops are pretty good. Uh, just stopping by, Jamie McDonald. Happy belated birthday, Jamie. I was hoping I was going to see you today just so I could wish you a happy birthday. Just stopping by to say hi. I'm wrapping, my, I'm wrapping up my weekend and can't stay, but wanted to show the love. Thank you, Jamie. I hope you had a good birthday. Uh, I have a morning gecko, and she is tiny. Yes, they are so small. So small. Like, you could, well, depending on your setup, but if you have, like, a fully planted terrarium, I mean, you could spend, like, an entire day and not even see it. Uh, sugar glider, hedgehog, uh, sugar glider all the way. All the way. I've actually kept sugar gliders before, um, and they are awesome. They had free roam so i had a ferret right this is a long time ago i had a ferret and i had one of those giant huge giant ferret enclosures um gosh i want to say it was like it's like four feet by two feet by two feet no it's bigger than that i don't know it's really huge but the bars were like an inch apart and then when i lost my ferret i got two sugar gliders and they would always stay in there during the day but then at night they would squeeze through the bar and they would climb up my blinds and then jump across the room onto their enclosure. And they would just do that like all night long. And of course my bed was by the window. So they would crawl up it, crawl up the blinds and then jump off. So I could just lay there and they would just jump over me all night long. And then as soon as the sun came up, they would squeeze right back in there and go in their little hammocks and sleep all day. <laughs> they were, they were, they were great. <sighs> Hedgehog and gliders are both awesome. Yes, but I would go with sugar gliders. Uh, sounds like Bob needs a trip to Costa Rica. Tons of wildlife to see. Yes, I would go to Costa Rica in a heartbeat. 
Morning geckos are the only native land reptiles in Hawaii. We have whatever that is. We've seen exactly twice. Um, don't make me try to pronounce scientific names. <laughs> uh, oh my god, our ferret was an escape artist. We just let him roam the house. Um, yeah, I couldn't do that now, but obviously with dogs. Uh, I think Jimmy is baiting this combo to go a certain way. Uh, crystals, pets, and plants. Hello. Hello, Bob, and happy Monday. Happy Monday to you, too. Um, Swissy says, no, not baiting. I'm just interested. Well, I like when you guys come up on topics because I don't come up with topics at all. So keep talking. I always watch videos of sugar gliders. Yeah, they're really awesome. Really awesome. And I'm actually, I'm surprised they haven't come down in price, like, at all. I, I kept them, like, 20 years ago. And they're still really expensive, even though, like, there's more breeders and things like that. I don't know. Maybe they're just not popular. I want to go fishing in Costa Rica. Um, oh, it seemed like you knew something we didn't. Um, if it wasn't fish, I would have them again. Uh, I wonder how much it costs to go to Costa Rica. It's probably a couple thousand, I'm sure. Last week we were going to the Galapagos, remember? We got to go to the Galapagos Islands first, and then we'll go to Costa Rica. And then we'll go to Hawaii. It's a teeny gecko from Madagascar. The name looks familiar, but it's just not clicking in my head. Um, yeah. Anyways, yeah, that's the same reason why I could never have morning geckos. Like, I wanted morning geckos for a long time, and then my local reptile store got them. And I actually saw how small they were. Uh, last year I asked about... My snail's dying this year. I found out why. I found an, my Akara killing them for fun. Well, all right. <laughs> uh, that does not surprise me. Uh, it doesn't surprise me at all. Uh, at least you found out why they're dying, though. When are you giving the holiday away? I could really use one. <laughs> I saw a bunch of wild toucans in Belize. They were cool. Uh, there's a guy about 35 minutes from here who has over 200 gliders free roaming his garage. He charges $3 a person to hang out with him for two hours. That sounds like a lot of poop. Free roaming, 200. That seems like a lot of poop. Price of gliders went up, actually. Um, yeah, I want to say I paid around 150 each for mine, and I had two of them. Uh, I couldn't even tell you what they are now. Oh, I would love to ride the giant tortoises in the Galapagos Islands, but I feel that may be animal cruelty. That, it would definitely be animal cruelty if I rode them. <laughs> Shoot. Uh, going on a carnival cruise next spring. Any destinations, suggestions? This is my second cruise. Last one was Jamaica. If I ever go on a cruise, it'll be in Alaska. I would do an Alaskan cruise. Recently moved my white clouds outside. Can't wait to see how they do. Second summer. Um, yeah, my summer tubbing has been put on hold. Um, unfortunately, some issues with the deck. So... Uh, it's awesome. We go at least once a month. I'll have to see if you will let me make a video. Yeah, that's crazy. Don't even ask. Just take your cell phone in there and video it. And be like, oh, I didn't know if he if he complains. Jimmy says, do Alaska cruise. He, I agree. I agree. If I, if I do a cruise anywhere, it'll be an Alaskan cruise. I don't know that I would do a cruise, like a, like a tropical cruise anywhere, but I would definitely do an Alaskan cruise. Uh, Barbara says, my female Bolivian ram kills snails quite often, except she does... Except she does eat all she kills. Well, at least that's a thing. <laughs> Claire says, gotta go, guys. Night, night. Thanks for stopping by, Claire. Uh, hello, Fish Rich. Fish Rich. Uh, you can do Alaska Cruise Super Cheap. Goes from goes to Vancouver, BC, and then all over Alaska as well. I would take the Victoria Clipper up to like Vancouver or Victoria and then go from there. But there's uh, a lot of Alaskan cruises leave out of Seattle, so it's really not even a, a big deal. Um, KG Cichlid says, if you super chat Bob $500, he will sing happy birthday, Mr. President, while swinging his shirt over his head in slow fashion. No. See, I'm not a stripper. You can buy my love, but I'm, I'm definitely not, like, a stripper. <laughs> I can have a fish room in the basement, can't have a tub outside, thanks to the wife. Hey, sounds like a fair trade-off. Uh, that might be work, worth making a pool for. <laughs> yeah. If someone super chatted me $500 right now, I would probably give it away. Is there a difference between gold white clouds and 24 karat white clouds? I just... I want to say it depends on where they came from. They're, they're the same thing. They're just called different things depending on where they came from, if I remember right. 
It's been a while since I've looked into that. Fairy out of Anacortes. Um, giveaway time. Oh, did I say I was going to do it at 6.30? I did, didn't I? All right. How many how many people do we got here? Let's take a look. Uh, where's my mouse? There it is. Uh, 114 people. All right. All right. So, just minimizing some things here. <laughs> All right. Hey, guys, let's wait till Michael leaves, and then we'll do the giveaway. Well, you'll have better odds. <laughs> Um, yep, we're down to 113. All right, your odds just increase by 0.95%. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, all right. So, obviously, a dollar makes a Bob Holler. Uh, all right. <laughs> all right, guys, so it's a $25 Aquarium Co-op gift card. So, obviously, you need to be in the U.S. to win. And here's how we're going to do it. Uh, Priscilla MK Art, Bob's a cheap hoe, better than expensive, better than an expensive rake. All right. <laughs> Priscilla did not like that message. <laughs> oh, Mile High shows up for the giveaway. All right. All right, now we can do the giveaway. I was waiting for Michael this whole time. All right, so I have a number. No, we're back up to 114, so your odds are the same now. All right, so I have a number written down on my piece of paper here. It's between 1 and 100. The first person that gets this number will win the $25 Aquarium Co-op gift card. So start guessing. Just type a number between 1 and 100. Go. Go. Nice chunk of plants to someone. Um, somebody start typing numbers. 1 to 100. I don't know how much lag there is between... Me and Keanu Reeves, 59 and 99. Once I see it. Okay, here we go. Ooh, someone was close. There it is, right there. We already got it. We already got it. Mr. Fax Machine with the number 23 is the winner. Now it's going to take about 15 minutes for everyone to stop. We already have a winner. We already have a winner. I, it's it's. I know. I'm pretty juvenile, but even I didn't pick 69. Uh, <clears throat> we'll let. We'll wait till people stop guessing numbers. People that are watching the replay, since I don't have chat up, <laughs> are gonna be like, "What is going on?" Um, <clears throat> the winner has been picked, guys. One through 100. Cat. Somebody say a, a color. Maybe next time I'll do a color. Uh, hey, this is fine. Look at all this engagement I'm getting on my live stream right now. Joel G. Yep. It is definitely 23. There you go. 23 is the winner on my pink post-it note. Mr. Fax Machine. Uh, Mr. Fax, Mr. Fax got it really, really early. Uh, so, Mr. Fax Machine, all you got to do is email me at steamfightaquatics at gmail.com, and I will get you the code for your $25. Jordan, yes, absolutely correct. Someone picked 23 first, yep. It is absolutely from Michael Jordan. All right, looks like the numbers have stopped. Of course, Chris picks 420. <laughs> uh, yellow, purple. Maybe next time we'll do a color. Next time we'll be guess a color, and the color will be clear. Smart way to do it. It's just the easiest way to do it, and and I get all that, uh, you know, all the comments. So YouTube loves comments. All about that interaction. But now you have to make sure they are they are on both channels and live. I don't care if they don't live in the U.S. They just are not going to be able to use it at all. Like if you. If, if you're outside of the U.S. and you try to win and you win, congratulations, you can't do anything with it. <laughs> but I've had people outside of the U.S. win and then give it to, you know, someone. Um, gosh, I know someone, I don't remember who it was, but it was someone in, like, the U.K. won and then gave it, gave it to uh, another YouTuber. So that is perfectly 
allowed, perfectly within the rules. Um, clear is the absence of color. <laughs> clear is not a color. <laughs> So I was watching Dumb and Dumber on Netflix last night. I just watched that like two weeks ago. The scene where Lloyd checks his watch in the bathroom while peeing. His watch is a casino. Casino? Uh, made me laugh. This is a random effect. Uh, you two told me to break from messages. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. Next time I do that, I wonder if I should turn on that slow comment crap. Oh, fail. I forgot to turn my thing down. Forgot to turn off the ringer. All right. Oh, white because it contains all the colors. How far away is the sun? 93 million miles. YouTube told me. Take a break from message. Clears on a color. Uh, fish, fish, fish. Phone's going to die later all. Thank you, jesters. For Oh, yeah. See, here comes all the excuses. Contest is over. Now everyone's phone's going to die. Just kidding. Thanks for coming. I appreciate it. Um, random facts are good for <laughs> Gary Duncan coming in with the guest. <laughs> a roadrunner is calling. Yep. Yep. All right. I should actually pull up my email. Um, for anyone who ever e emails me at steamfoodaquatics at gmail.com. Uh, I check that about once a year. Mr. Fax Machine already got his email in. All right. Well, Let's get that man his code live on the live stream. Uh, James Dye, thank you for editing your pledge. I appreciate it. Um, 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 your co-op gift card is ready. View your gift card. Uh, okay, here we go. Again, this is $25, Mr. Fax Machine. Uh, reply. Boom, $25, my friend. Just like that. Uh, and, and, oh, I probably, I should have made you use my affiliate link. <laughs> uh, I'm terrible at YouTube. Okay, I think we're ready. Uh, Gary's still going. Email sent, I'll message on here to verify email. Don't give out your email on here. I already replied to you. Uh, so you got it, you got it. It's $25. Uh, if you need plants, I think you get a free free sword plants right now uh, if you buy two you get one free so if you need plants there you go and let me put everything back to normal here all right there we go uh bear bottoms aquarium says washing dishes by hands for a family of six is a chore let alone three or four days worth of dishes needless to say i'm listening Jeez. Uh, i bought a breeding pair of julia chromis malaria magara from a local auction and i've had them in the tank for less than two months and they are already breeding for me those guys breed like guppies i have the exact same ones uh and they breed like crazy but i have um what do i have in there i have altos in there so they take care of the fry uh which is sad but i i would not even be able to give those away where i live nobody likes cichlids here uh, hey, what are your thoughts on Black Knight Rams? Um, inconclusive. Inconclusive. I'll wait and see how they breed out. And, um, yeah, once if, if, they, if they breed true, I think they're pretty sweet. But I don't know. Is it like the Jade Shrimp or, you know, like guppies? that some There's some strains of guppies that don't breed true. We'll see. I don't know enough about them, though. Time to get on that Amazon sword deal. Yep, there's the affiliate link. Use that link. Use that link. Um, the more people that use that link, the more money I can give away. Um, so I've decided that I'm going to use... They don't breed true, Bob. Oh, then I don't like them. If they don't breed true, what's the point? I mean, really, what's the point? Uh, so yeah, anyways. Now I forgot what I was going to say. Oh, well collaboration proposals this is why i don't check my email i've got all sorts of junk email try this get this for free i have so many offers for free crap that i would never use uh it appears they spawn 30 to 50 percent blacks and the rest normal well at least you get some then i mean maybe you you can keep getting that number higher and higher and higher um, Dean said black rams are the most aggressive of all the rams he's bred. 
Um, I don't know. I bet they could perfect that, though. I bet they could get that number a lot higher uh, if they keep breeding them. Uh, I just watched a three-month-old guppy eat a snail out of the shell like what puffers. Sounds like an angry guppy. <laughs> you should probably, I would keep that guppy, actually. Live now on the live stream. Uh, all right, now I'm leaving. <laughs> um, hey, what are your thoughts? Oh, I already got that one. I just want three months old. I didn't miss anything, did I? All right, we're good. All right, so <clears throat> I made a post on my Facebook group that I about saving for my new camera, but I might be ordering rare fish. Um, and I think I'm gonna go with the fish. I have been saving for a new camera, but this is like a once in a lifetime chance to order some rare fish. So I think I'm gonna do that. I don't know what I'm gonna get. I know I want the Inca stonefish, which are not that rare, but it is on, on, on my list of fish I want. And I don't know, I wanna get some epistos and we'll see, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know if I'm gonna do it yet, but I have a couple more days to decide, but I'm leaning towards, um, buying rare fish and blowing my camera fund <laughs> uh, actually goes lower and lower each spawn from my experience oh that's terrible the video I just edited in Israel where they started they have four types dark night blue dark night dark blue black mid blue hmm sounds like a bunch of snake oil to me my guppies are laying eggs on is something wrong with them <laughs> yes they're not guppies uh, I didn't know that Jimmy I'll have to look into those I can't wait for those Israel videos to start coming out. Like, that would have been the trip of a lifetime for sure. I would have loved to have gone to Israel. Uh, I'm not sure when we're going to release the video. It's very interesting. I thought he posted that the first Israel video is going to be out in like a week. I thought. I don't know. I also got to go check out his new place. Um, hopefully, maybe next weekend if he's not busy. I really want to go check it out. Chris with the $4.20 super chat says, more fishy money. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate it. Considering epistogrammas, can you have multiple varieties in the same tank? Will they crossbreed? You can have multiple varieties in the same tank. And yes, they can crossbreed. Um, a lot of people do like male tanks. You just got to make sure you have enough room for all males. Um, camera monies, get that pulsing Xenia reef instead. I really want a new camera though. It's really tough. It's really tough. I don't know. It's... Like I said, I got a few more days to decide, so we'll see, but I don't know. I really don't know. It's, it's a tough decision. Uh, also, uh, another announcement for the people that follow my uh, my page on uh, Facebook. So there is my Facebook group, but Facebook also required me to make a Bob Steenfot like, public page. Not like my personal Facebook page, but like my Bob, like a Bob Steenfot one. I don't know why they required that, uh, but they did for Instagram for some reason. And I'm going to start uploading a lot of my videos over there. So if you do follow that, don't get upset if I start spamming you a bunch of videos. But I'm going to start uploading my videos to both YouTube and Facebook. And uh, we'll see how that works out. I don't know. Uh, thoughts on using the Zilla 40 breeder terrarium for just a fish tank. So there's multiple schools of thought. Um, in my experience, the silicone is not really meant for an aquarium, meaning they don't use the same amount as they do in an, in an aquarium. So I would not use the Zilla for an aquarium myself. But if you can inspect the, uh, like the silicone and it looks good, you can try it. Uh, also, I don't know if the glass is the same thickness either um all the people freaking out over the baby koi feeding frenzies in israel um thanks for the answer a tornado just came through my fish room that's what my fish room looks like all the time uh what is everyone stocking suggestions for a two by two by two foot by two foot by 15 inch high-tech planet tank it already has eight corridor i have broses in it uh yeah bar bob can you comment on that comment on what what the baby koi feeding frenzy? Is that what you're wanting me to comment on? Uh, Bob, you're so famous. Yeah, it, there's like 50 people that follow me. And it's really, it's, so I changed, what happened is I changed my Instagram from personal to business. 
and luckily nobody was like on the ball paying attention because it published my phone number on Instagram for like an hour. <laughs> so that was pretty awesome. But in changing it to a business account, it required me to make a like a, a public like I don't even know what it's called, a public page or whatever. So yeah, for the people that do follow that, don't get upset. I'm just all I'm doing is spamming the same videos that are on YouTube that have been on YouTube for like years. So just letting you guys know. It's like Candy's YouTube page, best no content page on the book. SAEs do grow super fast when larger, and they can and will suck slime off the fish. Yes, I I do not recommend getting Siamese algae eaters for algae problems. Uh, Dean has Candy B. He has no videos technically, and I think he has like 3,000 subscribers, which is pretty crazy. Um, so yeah, don't get S, don't get Siamese algae eaters for algae control, because I don't know. You can't keep it. Most of the people can't keep it. They get big, they grow fast, and you're just like, you're like rehoming a fish multiple times just because you can't control your own algae. Uh, uh, my hot pleco is, oh, drilling a tank when it's filled with water. <laughs> what? Uh, Bearded Bob's Fish Room, how's it going, buddy? Should I film a Candy Overhaul's Fish Room tour? Well, remember, um, Jamie said that he would super chat a thousand dollars if Candy came on the live stream. So, I'm thinking we should like call his bluff and get Candy on the live stream. Uh, same thing, different name and location. Uh, SAE can be nippy, but yes, Chinese algae eaters are absolutely the worst. They don't even eat algae. I don't even know why they're called that. Um, Siamese algae eaters are generally peaceful, but they can get a little angry sometimes. Um, shut up, Priscilla. Was was my high pleco drilling tanks with water in it? Let's be real. All like fish people have done that at some point. That's like moving fish tanks with water in it. We've all done that too. <laughs> and I thought it was special when you friended me. That that's my personal one though. I friended you on my personal one, Barbara. So you are special. Aww. <laughs> Barbara sends me pictures of her flipping off, like, national monuments. <laughs> Just kidding. Flipping off waterfalls. <laughs> uh, but I'll interview Caleb instead, because we all know he's the real fish keeper. Candy is a poser. <sighs> I think Caleb should start his own channel. Uh, CAEs are only 99 cents. That's, that's why they are so popular. Yeah, it's, it's kind of the same, um, like, people buying common plecos. They should be buying bushy nose plecos. You shouldn't be buying Chinese algae eaters. Spend the extra money. Get yourself a real algae eater. Bob, you know I exploded my 55-gallon. Yeah, I know. <laughs> so much hate, no food for you, Jimmy. Is Jimmy, like, stopping by on his road trip across country? Um, Jimmy is trying to talk me into going to Ohio with him. But we'll see. We'll see. I'm sure by the time I go there, he'll be somewhere else. Uh, so much animal food for you. Adam's Aquatics, I didn't know that. Once they get big, that's still back to the LFS because they only get babies in stock. And I want a big one too. I moved my two 20 longs uh, a quarter filled so I can paint them. I'm doing that right now. Now back to lurking. Yeah, I moved a 55 gallon with water in it. And that was terrible. I did it by myself. Uh, but it was still better than emptying it and taking it all out. <laughs> oh, man. I plan on stopping by Candy and then Kang's. You could probably stop by like so many places. Um, yeah, that's where I need to make it out to Denver one of these days for sure. I'm pretty sure that's a cheap flight to, or no, Denver's expensive, isn't it? Seattle to Denver. Um, yeah, that's expensive. <laughs> Uh, shut up, Caleb wants his own channel. I'm glad he didn't hear you say that. Caleb should get his own channel. Caleb should get his own channel. Caleb, I'll even type it, should start his own channel. Uh, next time I see Caleb, I'm going to say he should start his own channel. Why not? Caleb should start his own channel. Say it again. Yep. Kalen? <laughs> uh, just spent $45,000 I don't have on a new vehicle. Oh, man, what do you get? Um, yeah, I don't know that I could ever do that. Like, 
not having a car payment is like the greatest thing ever. I mean, maybe you pay cash, but... Um, Crystal's Pets and Plants says, hello, Swiski. Yeah, all, all three of my vehicles are paid off, and I'm probably going to sell my car here pretty soon. Um, but, yeah, I don't know why I have three vehicles. It's kind of stupid. <sighs> but I don't have a car payment, so that's why. Anyways... Reticulated hill streams, reticulated hill stream loach are a much better idea than Siamese algae eaters. Um, I mean, they have a, a little bit different care requirements, but yeah, I agree. Uh, Nathan says, Ohio squad, can't wait to see what happens when Jimmy gets here. Such a troublemaker. I'll never buy a new vehicle again. Um, Swiski says, hello, Crystal. Um, yeah, there's so many people in Ohio. And there's like so many huge YouTubers in Ohio too. Like that would be the real thing. Like, could he get on one of these YouTubers channels that have like 10 million subscribers? Hmm? Oh, excuse me. How is this the bike, Bob? It's great. I got the new battery. It's freaking awesome. I love it. Uh, have you been on the cycle? Uh, yeah, I finally took it out a couple weeks ago. Whenever I posted that picture on Instagram of my bike, that's the first time I rode it this year. Uh, just get up mono shrimps for algae. That'll work too. Do hillstream loaches need to school? Negative. Um, 2019 van for the family. We have four growing kids. Man, what do vans get so expensive? I guess they have all those new fancy like doors that open themselves and close themselves. I don't know. Just get like a Chevy Astro van for like 500 bucks. <laughs> oh man. Uh, Dean's Fish Room is here. Hello, Dean. Uh, great to finally meet you at AGA. Yeah, can you believe uh, AGA was the first time I met Dan and the first time I met uh, Dan, Dean, and the first time I met Randy in person. Pretty crazy. Uh, Swiskey says, holy space balls, it's Dean. Yep. I need to make it over one of these days, though. I wish I could have stayed and uh, come over after AGA for ice cream, but I could not stay. I have to drive to Central California three or four times a year. Old car had 230,000 miles on it. Yeah, well, that'll do it. <laughs> I guess there's something to say about that. Out of, I have three vehicles, and I wouldn't trust any of them to drive to California once. <laughs> uh, what are you doing in Denver, Bob? I've only been to Denver once. I just need to get out there to see everyone, basically. Um, and I think that's kind of what I'm going to use. Like when Corey started his Patreon, he was using it to travel. And that's kind of what I want to use my my Patreon for. Uh, although there's hardly any people left, but I feel like maybe if I promoted it and actually had a tier, and maybe did something with it, maybe more people would do it. I don't know. I don't really know how to take advantage of Patreon. I don't know. I think that would be cool though. You'd only you'd only need like. So what do I have like thirty thousand subscribers? So I'd only need like. If like five, no, not even five, even if like 3% of my subscribers donated like $1 a month, then I could go somewhere every month that would pay, that would pay for a plane ticket in a hotel once a month. I could go somewhere and film like fish rooms or store tours, things like that. Uh, meetups, meet and greets, things like, I don't know. It'd be kind of neat. I still have ice cream left from that night. I think I bought the store out. I love ice cream. I could eat some ice cream right now. Adams Aquatic says, Dean is my inspiration. Yeah, he's kind of a kind of a fish genius. Uh, you can all have your new cars. I'm happy driving my 15-year-old Taurus. Yeah, like I have a pretty nice car, but I still drive my 2000 Jeep Cherokee everywhere. I spent $1,500 on it, and I think I drive my car like once a year. Uh, just to let you know, Jess, Shrimp, Granny, all garter snakes are live bears, so those are probably eggs from something else. Oh, that is true. Denver is different. When I was in Denver, they were building all those um, underground tunnels. And so, yes, as Adam says, it's just reeked of sulfur. Uh, it was disgusting. It smelled like rotten eggs. I don't know if they're still building all those underground tunnels there, but, yeah, it was terrible. <clears throat> uh, I heard earlier you were going to order some rare fish. Telling which ones yet? Well, so... I want the Inca stonefish, which aren't necessarily rare, but I mean, I've never seen them in a store, but those are on my list. Um, I had a list, uh, but I minimized, I closed it out for the live stream. Uh, there's some, oh man, 
there's an epistogramma. It's not the Hong's Loy, but it's like the Hong Ni or something. It's like H O N G E I or something like that. Uh, I wanted to get some of those. Uh, there, I wanted to get a Harry Puffer. And uh, I don't know. There was, man, I, I probably should have left the list the list up. I'm not like not saying what I'm getting, but I just don't remember. <laughs> um. Uh, no, we got five minutes left. I'm not going to pull up the list. Uh, Dean taught me to raise guppies in a toilet. <laughs> Fast water changes are possible. That's, I'm pretty sure that I'm late to the live stream. YouTube, that boy. Yes, you are. We got five minutes left. Um, you never know. I drive a 1996 Toyota Starlet. I don't even know what that is. And, uh, and it only uses 6.5 liters per 100 kilometers. Uh, Priscilla says Denver does smell. So it does still smell then. That's good to know. My high pleco says all big cities smell, but they don't smell like Denver. They don't. Like, S Seattle can sometimes smell like a mixture of the ocean and trash, but it doesn't smell like rotten eggs. Denver is just straight up rotten when I was there. Um, my, girlfriend's, my girlfriend is afraid of puffers. Apparently, teeth on fish are scary. Uh, I can't get a pistol here, so if anyone wants to donate, fry to me. <laughs> nice. Uh, I checked the mail three times a day, then I realized I am stupid. Yep. <laughs> um, anyone have a tank that seems to have a toxin in it that doesn't show up on a test? I have a tank that kills everything slowly despite great tests. Um, how do you clean the tank? Hmm. That's weird. Maybe... I mean, I'm sure you have maybe multiple tanks, so it's probably not something in the water. Hmm. I don't know. Honestly, if I had a tank that was killing everything, I would just throw it away. Uh, if it was under 55 gallons, I would just buy a new one at the dollar per gallon sale. I wouldn't even I wouldn't even worry about it. Uh, you're welcome to three to you to save them. I wonder what they could be from. Best place to get epistogrammas? Um, probably the best variety is the Wet Spot Tropical Fish which is in Portland, Oregon. It doesn't smell like rotten eggs anymore. It smells like 420. Jeez. That's better than that's better than a sulfur smell, although both are pretty obnoxious to be honest. Uh, anyone who has ideas, please let me know. I wonder maybe at some point it was resealed with the wrong type of silicone, maybe, I don't know. It's like the only thing I can think of. Um is it buy something? Is it buy something and maybe some type of cleaner is getting like accidentally sprayed in it? I don't know. I don't know. You're out dusting and maybe spray some pledge floats over into the water. I don't, I don't know. If it's a used old tank, then maybe the only thing I can think of is maybe it got resealed with the wrong type of silicone. Um, you never know says if it's been resealed, you might have the silicone that has something toxic. Hey, there you go. Uh, how do they behave before dying? What kind of fish? Uh, my aquarium co-op order showed up today. I guess party packages are rolling. Uh, yes. So the, due to Amazon Prime, there are still packages getting delivered on Mondays now. I realize your order didn't come from Amazon, but that's an agreement they went, they made. So now there are some postal workers working on Mondays. Sulfur, sulfur is a natural antifungal. <laughs> I guess they need it in Denver. When the Perina plant is in high production in the summer, time to avoid Denver. Per Perina? Perina? Um, my aquarium cup. Okay. Arg, but my plants, the plants live. Um, the toxins probably wouldn't affect the plants. Uh, I'm with Bob. Just get rid of it and buy a new one. Yeah, I mean, honestly... If it's 55 gallons or under, I, w I would just toss it. What type of D? Oh, yeah. Still looking for more details on the aquarium. Um, all right. What else do we got here? San Francisco smells worse than Denver. I believe that. <laughs> I believe that. Um, I haven't been to San Francisco in probably 25 years. So I don't really remember what it smells like. Of course, it was still pretty nice back then. Uh, I spent $1,200 to service a GTI that still needs body work for some parking lot kisses. Uh, Barbara Jackson, I have a 2006 Space Odyssey. I love it. 
Um, Dean has spoken. Out it goes. <laughs> Bob, do you get... Wait, Bob, do you get watch time credit for your live streams or just when someone replays it after? Um, you absolutely get watch time credit for live streams, and it's the fastest way... Well, I don't want to give anyone bad advice, but live streams are the fastest way to hit your 4,000 hours of watch time, but it's a terrible way to grow your channel. So... Yes, you absolutely get a ton of watch time when people watch your live streams live. Uh, have I ever been to Florida? Yes, I have been to Florida. Epcot Center, Disney World. Uh, it rained every day at like 6 o'clock. It just poured for like 15 minutes every single day. Um, you never know, says, bye all, I have to go to work. Thanks for stopping by, I appreciate it. Swiski, when you work that many hours, uh, the days all run together. What day is it anyway? Does it really matter that much anymore? Um, I'm hoping to be that, I'm hoping it's like that for me when I quit. Like, not knowing what day it is just seems so great. Like, if that's, if that's your problem, I mean, it's probably not great if it's from working, like, 100 hours a day, but, like, if your life is going so good, and you don't even know what day it is, you're just having fun, that's what I hope to get to someday. <laughs> Um, per cichlids, what's going on? Good day, Bob. Good day, fish tankers. It does matter. I love mail time. Um, they all run together. All right, guys, it is 701. Congratulations, Mr. Fax Machine, for the $25 aquarium co op gift card. I want to thank everyone who's been using my affiliate links, it's been helping out a lot. And I uh, hope you continue to use them, and we will continue to, to do to do more giveaways. And, uh, yeah, thanks. I appreciate it. I hope you all have a good rest of your Monday. I will see you next week at 6 p.m. Pacific, like always. Until then, uh, I don't know. Should I say it? Okay, I'll say it. Keep your sleeves dry and your dreams wet. I'll see you next week.